Jane Diada asked, uh, how familiar were you with SG-1 uh, before being cast as Dr. Weir? Not at all. Sorry. Okay. Not at all. Are you but, a sci-fi fan? Well, I'm a softcore okay. sci-fi fan. Edward Coyle wanted to know that one. So, okay. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, okay. I, 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 and I learned another thing. So yes, I learned a fair bit about sci-fi fans on Captain Power. Yeah. But I learned a heck of a lot more uh, about sci-fi fans because the internet was just starting right. on earth, on earth too. Okay. Yeah. So so Clancy Brown would come to work and he was on the internet. I didn't have a computer for another, I, I, I don't even know how many, I was late, late, yeah. late to the game. Um, he would come to work with these printouts of all the things that were being said. And we're like, what? I can't believe like the yeah. detail with which these people watch this. So I didn't even think about that. You know, like I just remember reading one where, well, they were walking through the river and then just a short time cut later, their pants are dry. How do, I'm like, oh my God, they're watching. these people, they're watching and they're like tracking all the information and doing stuff that I, you know, anyway, so that was a real wake up call. And I, and when, it, when you ask me if I'm a sci-fi fan, I am, I am, I, I'm a noticey kind of person. I, I'm like a, a, like a, a continuity kind of person, or I can read a script and go, wait, 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 that doesn't track. That wasn't, you know, right. but, but no. The ins I and am, outs of it. Like, I am, yeah, I'm a right, I'm a right brain. I'm not a left brain. For sure. <laughs> okay. What do you, I was going to ask you, like, what do you, what, what's the genre of like supernatural charmed black mirror, outer limits, Alfred Hitchcock presents. What, it's is all that, sci-fi it's fantasy. Always, it's you know? a, it's sci-fi fantasy. So that yeah. I like. I okay. like that a little more for sure. Right. And I and listen, I also like I do I do I did get a hit last night watching it again, um, of how, you know, tickling that part of your brain where you know, I'm not a religious person, so yeah. so I just like the idea of having faith that I wish there were a little uh, the, uh, the, the, the the aliens generally would be a little nicer overall we always deal with such nasty aliens why is every you know other than Starman or et it's like right. why is every alien got to be so mean anyway if you go but, through sg1 you know the the little the little green men actually turn out to be good guys yeah so it's it's a it's it's a trip so you you weren't you hadn't followed sg1 um before oh that's what i was yes. going to say is that sorry is that uh dr weir was green also so yeah. in a way, so, so this was, so I went in there thinking, I don't need to know anything. I'm going to learn everything with the fans on the show. Right. I, as the, as the audience see, learns, I learn and I've, I've, I've you know, reading those boxes full of files and stuff like that. That's but, right. um, <laughs> in, um, but I, you know, I think I actually drove the writers, producers, bananas i to, to a not good degree because then i would come in with all these questions that i think you know i would think she would have but you know i'm a stickler for detail and i maybe i should have done a bunch more homework or i or or they didn't have the answers to certain things because they didn't exactly i don't know i don't know i know i drove them crazy oh so you came them to crazy. them for a lot more than like yeah and i don't know if they just would if they, if they should have turned to me and said would you go watch the show and get off our backs or whether my questions were dumb or if my questions were they didn't have the answer so they didn't want to be pushed on them or they you know i was thinking like is this an inconsistency or is this something i you know anyway so I, I drove them crazy i know it uh, well you know i mean <laughs> We've all been there, you know, one, one, one shape or form. I, it was one of the things that I wanted to ask was, was any episode given to you like as homework to kind of get a feel for it? But it sounds like you were just thrown into the deep end of the pool and, yeah. and, to, and kind of basically she's either going to do her own research on it or not. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. And, and what year was it? That was 2000 and one moment, 2003. Three, yeah. Okay, so. so just to, just to put into perspective, uh, I don't think I even got a computer. I got mean, it. Or, you know, do, you know what I mean. And did they give me VHSs or CD, like right. DVDs or whatever? Like, I don't know. 
a lot of this stuff happens quickly. Yeah. You know, from casting. To, it, it's, I'm not using it as an excuse. There's no excuse. I, no. I, I, I could have. I'm, so, I'm, I'm sure. But anyway. Yeah. OK. You had your approach, you know. Um, what do you recall? Um, and, and you went and you went and, and uh, rewatched it. Uh, mm-hmm. What the intensity of that that job felt like as being you know it's it's a it's a a season finale potentially a series finale you know we're Mm -hmm. potentially going into another uh show do you recall uh the intensity of this particular project and the the uh the commitment to really of everyone on board to really getting this one right you know, being in charge of the SGC, Goran Andonowski asks, you're, you're in charge of this whole thing. You're coming in here. But you're absolutely but, green. Yeah, but that's the thing, you know, rewatching it. It's like, she's not in charge. There was like, at, at no point does, does she actually, you know, she has a couple of flare up moments where she goes, I'm, this is my chair. And, and, right. you know, but I don't think she ever felt like she was in charge. And if she felt in charge, and I have to say, it's so funny to watch yourself at that age and think, I, that doesn't even sound like me. Like, I, that's not my voice. And uh, uh, what? And, you know, uh, would someone of that age have actually accomplished mm-hmm. that much and be taken seriously as a woman? Mm-hmm. And I love that they went there. I love that they took a chance and 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 put that person. But, you know, and and here's the other thing I, I, I like about that show, like I do about NCIS when it comes to procedural stuff. They have a nice balance of humor and personal interactivity and combined with serious issues and, mm-hmm. and, and weighty content, right? So I do, and, and that is, it is a tricky line to navigate, right? Where you're, you're, you want to keep both things well served and not diminish the, I don't know, the intensity or the, right. or the, so I think Bill Demain does that so well. <laughs> he is brilliantly. The president. Yeah, but he's the kind of president you would love to have because yeah. he's he's weighty. Yeah. You don't want to mess with him. Yeah. But he's always got a smile and he's a good old boy and he's and he's and he's you know never he, he'll he, with a smile he's going to give it to you. Yeah. Oh. Um. So I. So <laughs> I I sorry by the way you're okay. Um, um, so I, you know, I love watching him. I love watching him because he does that really well. Um, Jessica, I, I, I don't think you give yourself enough credit for that role. <laughs> get, get, look at the context here. She starts on a Monday. They get, a, yeah. as the guy who look, keeps a track of all the data, they get attacked on a Thursday, the same <laughs> week. She yeah. is still getting her feet wet. You know, yes. and yes. she has she knows what she's doing. She knows people's names. She knows what needs to be done when she's there. Yeah, this was yeah. the first few days of this assignment. And when you think yeah. about it in that context, Ronnie Co- friggin Cox coming in, you know, you got the vice president leaning over yeah. your shoulder saying, you're yeah. going to do this. You're going to do this. and You're going to yeah. like it. Yeah. yeah, I think that she did just fine. And I think okay. that you had given had you given that. her a few more months like in the story, everything was everything was clicking along. Right. Just right. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Well, thank you. And, <laughs> and yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's like, it's, 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 it's the magnitude of a job like that. Yeah. You, yeah. You can't even, right? Well, I mean, <laughs> she asked her, I am not qualified to deal with aliens. And the yeah. president's like, someone has to, you right. know, we, we have to have an equivalent to this. So I mean, as, as I'm watching, it's like, uh, there is a, scattered a little bit of scattered and 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 uh, casual you know and i watched don davis who holds such oh. you know he holds that weight so well you know yeah. um he just did such a great job of bringing that that side of it right yeah. to 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 the role I, and so um and it counters with Harry, you know, who, who, who plays, he's kind of the Michael, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I, I whether oh, yeah. we, R- know, Richard Dean and Michael like, Shanks, the kind of chaotic, you know? Yeah. Thanks for watching this clip from dial the gate. You can find the full live stream shows on our YouTube channel or visit dial the for the complete schedule. See you on the other side. <laughs>